Thanks, Goose. All right, it's time for some hack and slash action with the roguelike brawler, Heart and Slash. You play as Heart, a robot who is trying to escape from his fellow machines after they turned rogue and destroyed humanity in the Robocalypse. Oh, actually, that sounds like a dream that you told me about the other day, Darren. Oh, affirmative. Except, of course, I was the one causing the Robocalypse. Such a lovely dream. Ah, come with me if you want to live! There wasn't a single noob left on Earth. <laughs> right, well, outside of that initial premise, there isn't a whole lot of other story going on here. This is all about fighting your way through room after randomly generated room of robots and bosses. Since this is a roguelike, you are going to get destroyed over and over again. But the key with any roguelike is how it empowers you to get further on your next run. Uh, so, as you play and complete certain quests, such as destroying enough of a certain robot type, you'll unlock new equipment that has a chance of randomly spawning in. Uh, the other element of progression here is that as you destroy robots, you collect bolts, and once you've collected ten, you get a box of bolts which carry over between runs. These can be used to upgrade Hart and his equipment, but once you've been destroyed, all your upgrades will be gone. The combat is fairly classic hack and slash stuff. Letting you string together combos with light and heavy attacks. While dodge and jump moves can help you avoid getting hit. There's a wide variety of weapons to find too, with each having its own set of moves. They also come with several different elemental buffs. Fire, ice and electricity, which are extra effective against specific types of robots. Oh, you can also hold three weapons at once and switch between them on the fly by simply holding down a shoulder button. It sounds like it has everything it needs for satisfying combat, but I really struggled to get into it. It just wasn't punchy enough and it all felt a little bit clunky and messy. For example, Heart doesn't automatically close the gap to the nearest enemy when you attack, or have any move that does that. So you often end up flailing at no one. It can be especially frustrating when you're trying to hit flying units because it can be hard to tell exactly where they are. Yeah, the action can feel a bit rough at times, but I did start to enjoy it more once I put some more time into the game and unlocked some satisfying weapons. Yeah, I mean, I just think if you're not enjoying the core of the game, though, then it can be difficult to motivate yourself to run through it over and over, just searching for more fun. Especially when the combat sometimes just felt straight up unfair with some of those bosses taking you out in a few hits. And honestly, that music was starting to drive me nuts. So you didn't like it much then? I'm sorry, Darren. Not even robots could make this fun for me. I'm giving it two. I liked it a bit more than you, Hex. I think if you're after some simple hack and slash fun, you could spend hours here plugging away, having one more go and unlocking gear. So I'm giving it three and a half out of five rubber chickens.